let's go with an example here the same table but you have 20 sample 10 males and 10 females 3 males are passed 7 are failed 5 females are passed 5 are failed then we have to find out the association between gender and knowledge so write the formula first p is equal to a plus b factorial into c plus d factorial into a plus c factorial into b plus d factorial divided by n factorial into a factorial into b factorial into c factorial into d factorial we know a is 3 b is 7 c is 5 and d is 5 first what we need is a plus b so a plus b is 7 3 plus 7 10 next c plus d is 5 plus 5 10 next we need a plus c so this 3 plus 5 is 8 is p b plus d 7 plus 5 12 then use it in the formula so we'll get 10 factorial into 10 factorial into 8 factorial into 12 factorial divided by 20 factorial into 3 factorial into 7 factorial into 5 factorial into 5 factorial so when you try to solve this problem we'll try to reduce the factors factorials we'll start to reduce from the highest in both numerator and denominator if you see here in numerator 12 is the highest numerator uh, factorial denominator is 20 we'll try to reduce that so 12 is the highest here is 20 is the highest and 20 if we expand we can expand 20 into 19 into 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 factorial so in this case we can reduce this 12 factorial with this 12 factorial and next highest one is 10 we'll try to expand this 10 here it is 7 so we'll expand to 7 like 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial the remaining everything will be same and this 7 factorial can be reduced here and here next highest here is again 10 factorial and here is is 5 so what we'll try to do is we'll try to expand this 10 into 5 factorial like 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial remaining will be same so this 5 factorial can be reduced this one and this one next highest factorial is here is 8 factorial here is 5 factorial so this 8 can be reduced like this 8 9 sorry 8 7 6 into 5 factorial so this 5 and this 5 can be reduced now we have reduced almost all the factorials now just we'll expand the numbers we'll try to reduce one by one now this 10 10 can be reduced like 2 tens are 20 and then 9 can be reduced 2 9s are 18 then 8 can be reduced to 8s are 16 then we have 7 7 can be reduced to 2 7s are 14 here so we can cut like this then what we have here is 6 so 6 can be reduced to 3s are 6 these two can be reduced next the 10 can be reduced to 5s are 10 then here 3 5s are 15 then this 6 can be reduced to 3s are 16 then we have these two can be reduced here and here then these two can be reduced here with 2 4 are 8 again these two can be reduced here to 2 are 4 and if you see here all the numbers are reduced except the prime numbers 19 13 17 further we can't able to reduce anything so write it again here the remaining numbers are 9 into 2 multiplied by 8 into 7 there are 19 into 17 into 13 into 1 so if you multiply you'll get 1008 divided by 4199 so you'll get p value of 0 0.240 how to interpret this p value so the p value is 0 0.240 nothing but the level of significance so the accepted level of significance is 0 0.05 but here it is more than 0 0.05 so how to interpret it is if p value is less than 0 0.05 reject the null hypothesis and accept the research hypothesis if the p value is more than 0 0.05 accept the null hypothesis reject the research hypothesis in this case it is 0 .0, 0 0.240 more than 0 0.05 so we are accepting the null hypothesis stating that there is no significant association between gender and knowledge.